and type this command here mouse type equals PS2 and save it as mouse.sys and it's gonna create another uh, file inside my non-boot folder I'm gonna close here you see it's called mouse.sys so I don't need the new text document you see so I'm gonna right click delete perfect now I'm keeping my mouse.sys to make sure I just right click edit and yeah, have the information there. So perfect. Now we're going we're going to modify the auto exact that bat by right clicking, edit, and now we're at mouse.com. Okay. Now we close it and save the settings now we have to update our non bootable image and retest it make sure our mouse is working so open the uh, non bootable image by double clicking and drag the auto exit that uh, bat and confirm by clicking yes perfect now do the same for mouse.com and mouse.sys remember from the non boot folder just right click copy and paste it there or just drag it and drop it confirm good now all we need to do is just click on save and it will automatically update the non boot image now we open virtualbox again Let's start our Windows 98. We don't have to do anything else. Booting Windows 98. Now we can see if our mouse is working. Yes, it's working. You see a big square there because I'm remotely connected to a computer and using VirtualBox in that computer. But yes, it's working. The, the mouse is following the square. So perfect. Now our mouse is working in the uh, DOS very good now close here now that we know that our uh, non boot image is working perfect now we're ready to create a bootable image so before we do the image we need to do the bootable folder just like we did here right click new folder and call this boot CD. I'm going to change it around. And then open the non boot folder. We're going to copy the context from one to the other. So from the non boot folder, select all the files there except the ghost.exe. Remember, non boot folder. Right click, copy. and then to the boot CD folder right click paste now here we need to add more files from the extracted Win98 so open the Win98 folder and add oakcdrom.sys right click copy and paste it into your boot CD folder and now open ebd.cab and drag and drop msd mscdx.exe because you can't right, right click and copy here you have to uh, drag it to the folder 
perfect. Now here that we're making the uh, boot uh, CD, we need to make some changes to the auto exec that bat and to the config that sys. Right click auto exec that bat and click edit. And we're gonna mod modify this. Remember, I'm gonna leave the information from the auto exit that bat in the description box in my website. Just replace the information with this information. Keep in mind, you see where it says the ghost, the one circled. When you right click config.sys and you modify config.sys, the drive D information have to match. I'll show you right now. Here, add this uh, uh, command line. Device equal oak cdrom.sys forward slash ghost. You see the here? The D drive, the D column ghost is on both. You, it, it cannot be different. You have to use the same information. Ghost, ghost. I, I left it there a little while so you would look at it. Then close and make sure you save it. Close the auto exit that bat and save. Perfect. Now open win image. Click OK. Now remember new, but my file still doesn't exceed 1.4 megs, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Select all my folders from the boot CD folder, all my files from the boot CD folder, and drag it to the win image program. Here I'm gonna click on image. and click on boot sector properties and remember Windows 95 98 none other Windows 95 98 click and click OK now we're gonna create our image so click on save select your desktop and now this image is gonna be called boot CD image and then click on the drop down box here and select image file and click save now here it is my boot CD image perfect now I'm gonna close here close and put my boot CD image right next to my boot CD folder just like we did before with a non boot now open the ultra ISO program I'm using the trial version and here click on bootable and then click on load boot file here I'm gonna load the boot CD image the last one we created click open I'm gonna re rename this to bootable ghost CD like you see here now I'm gonna move this to a side 
so I can access my non boot and from my non boot folder we need the ghost.exe drag it and drop it to your ultra ISO program boom perfect now close the boot the ultra ISO and it's gonna ask you if you wanna save it click yes the file name I'm gonna leave it like that bootable ghost CD ISO and click save I'm gonna save it in my desktop and here I have created my bootable ISO now I'm gonna try uh, booting using Microsoft Virtual PC now if this ISO works throughout my virtual PC that means if I burn my disk it's gonna work the same so I'm sure it's gonna work but just let's test it open the Microsoft Virtual PC click next I'm gonna leave everything default like we did before create a new virtual machine Windows 98 default settings click next using recommend recommended RAM and I'm, go I'm gonna use new virtual hard disk click next default settings next and finish and now with my virtual PC console I just double click to run and here I'm gonna click CD and capture ISO image go to the desktop where we saved it scroll down and look for bootable ghost CD ISO click open and then action control alt delete and it should boot from the CD and use the mouse there starting Windows 98 perfect now our our ISO is ready to be used now you can burn it into a CD or DVD and put it in any computer and it will work perfectly thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions